Rory, how's the holidays going? I not too bad. Um, a busy few weeks at the start of once the the season ended, um, but it has calmed down over the last week or so. So, but more relaxed and, and enjoying it. Look, the start of this week, chat. I, I wanted to, to wind back to last April, and there's no point. I don't want to go back and talk about. He came in after six games, two points. That story's been told. What I want to try and find out is. You come into this job, the Americans call it your rookie season. You come in as a, as a new manager. You've been involved in all our clubs, yes. The scale of the job, were you prepared for that or was it taking you a surprise a wee bit? Um, I was always aware of, of the size of the, the football club and, and the media attention around the club. There's one one club in the city and, and it's very much centre of, of the community. And um, once, once you go to the the shop for a loaf of bread or a carton of milk and, and people are telling you what formation and what players they play then you soon realise how much people um, are enthused by it and, and, and how much the club means to them which is brilliant uh, and living in the city it's, it, it never leaves you but no, it's a massive football club and, and I'm, I'm in a very very privileged position to, to be managing it. In terms of when you came in in April I mean you, you you were you had you inherited a squad, a decent squad that it was too. What did you change? What did you think needed change? Just and tweaked enough to get you to where you were going. No, well, initially when I came in, I did feel that the squad were were slightly underachieving. I felt that there was a lot of good players, um, and that just needed belief and and confidence. And when you win a game brings confidence and we were very very lucky to win the Sligo away game straight away it was a good solid performance away performance and, and we got the job done and straight away that I was fortunate as a manager that, that we that we got the win so early and, and it installed confidence and then and then we grew from that but going into the the, the summer window we weren't scoring enough goals um, we were scoring goals from set plays that were that were getting us through and um, and set play is a massive part of the game, but we weren't scoring enough goals from open play, and and, and I felt bringing uh, Jamie McGonigal and, and, and Junior to the club would add goals, and, and I think it, it proved to be right. Sometimes you get them right, sometimes you get them wrong, but the two players and Bashing came in to help us in the midfield area, but the two players brought goals and assisted us and, 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 and shot us up the table, and we were more of an attacking threat from, from the summer on, I felt. And Rory, before we talk about the new players that have come in, um, one major change you have made is bringing Alan Rowlands on. You've been asked about your number two for long enough. You've obviously taken time to think that out, think it through. What changes will that make to your backroom team? Well, first of all, Alan's, Alan's a vastly experienced uh, coach. He's been someone that I've been close to for a number of years and has given me good advice for, for a long time. And he's managed his hometown club as well, which which... I'll be able to get great. great uh, there's great value in that for me, and and um, and the players will love them as well. To be honest, they love they love working with them on a daily basis, and we're building a, a nice staff here, a really good staff, hard working, and you've got Alan Reynolds, um, Mark McChrystal's first team coach, uh, really organised, diligent, and 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 Connor Logrey, a very good young coach on the pitch puts on excellent sessions and, and he's going to do a dual role where he'll coach during the week and uh, he'll head off on a Friday and, and watch the opposition who we play next and that'll be great for me because when we get on the training pitch we'll be able to, to plan our sessions around what Connor, basically the information Connor gives us on the opposition. Um, Paddy McCord's been great to me since I came into the club, a real sounding board, great experience in the game and has done has done really good work with the academy, um, and also what what's important to note is is that at times of football clubs there's there's personnel that go under the radar and, and we our injury record this year has been outstanding. Um, there's been one or two injuries as is every club, but it's been it's been it's been minor, um, and and the work that Michael Higgerty and Kevin McCready do here is. It can't go unnoticed, and it certainly doesn't by me. They're they're brilliant at their jobs, and um, 
And I don't take them for granted, that's for sure. Uh, Seamus McCallion, our analyst, does great work. Georgie Horgan, uh, Philip Johnson are brilliant. Um, and, and, and we're very much together. Declan McIntyre is a vastly experienced goalkeeping coach. He'll have a lot of talent again uh, to work with this year. And, and, and Yunan, our cameraman, who goes up and down the country for us and, and does great work. And, and I'll tell you another thing, our, our press officer isn't too bad either. Uh, <laughs> Aren't you not, Lawrence? <laughs> Here, let me pay you. <laughs> Fourteen <laughs> things. No, but um, no, delighted with the staff, and then obviously uh, the chairman and Sean Barrett, Dodie McGuinness, and all the board, and, and Peter Wallace, and people behind the scenes have been fantastic to me since that since I came into the club, and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, it continues for a long time. But um, it's just it's it's important that we're we're patient and, and we drive this thing on and. It's been a it's been a long term plan from day one and and it'll remain that way. Um, Rory, in terms of, in terms of all of that, I think the one thing that has stood out this year, I think you, you would admit it yourself, you've had really good backing from the chairman and from the board. It's quite clear from the outset. Um, you've brought in a lot of good players as well. Now you have to temper that maybe a wee bit because the likes of Shamrock Rovers, Dundalk, St Pat's, Bohemian, Sligo. We're still going to be very competitive next year. A hundred percent. That's. It's. Uh, I think the league's getting strong. You can add shell. Like, you look at it, and and it's not like certain leagues where. You, you, if you turn up, like, every single three points that that you that you get is hard earned. And you can't switch off for a week because if you switch off for a week, then then you get turned over. Um, but you're right in terms of the backing that that I've got from Philip. Um, and the board, our first conversation, it was clear what we wanted to do. Uh, we wanted to compete again with the top teams in Irish football. And, and Philip told me from day one that, that, he, that he would facilitate that, obviously without going overboard. Uh, we have a structure to work with. And, and contrary to, to what everyone's saying, um, we just happened to get teams will sign six, seven players over a a longer period of time, we signed six or seven in a very short space of time, so everyone gets talking about it. But um, we we were organised, we had our ducks in a row, and, and, and we wanted to get things done early. And I think it's it's clear that it's calmed down over the last week or so, and we'll probably bring in one more. But when that will be, I'm not too sure. Um, <clears throat> in terms of that, Rory, again, circling back just a wee bit on that, there's still no matter what you've done this year. There's still a real dairy influence, even in the players who've come in. There's a real dairy influence. How important is it to you that there's still that pathway, not just for the senior players, but for the academy players, a pathway into the first team? A hundred percent. It's it's. There's a real local field. We were down the gym um, the other day, and and uh, the players are in the gym quite a lot at the minute. But. <laughs> there's always a good few of them there, which suggests that there's real local. Uh, I think there's 13 or 14 players in in, in the local area who, um, and I think it's brilliant. I, I remember back in 06 when we uh, had a very successful team. The the majority of the squad was local, and um, I think the best teams for years at, at Derry have. There's been a real core of local players, and we want that to continue. In terms of bringing young players through, there's no better feeling than giving a young player his debut or giving a young player games. And you've seen uh, once Wolf Patching left and back, they go back there on dock in the summer. There was a void, there was a, a creative void there that we had to fill. And obviously we brought Bash in on loan, but we introduced Evan McLaughlin. Uh, he was only registered on July the first, and he I think he made his debut on July the second. So. Um, and he stayed in the team. I think Evan played around 15 odd games. So, from being out of the picture, uh, he very much came into the picture and, and will be part of things going forward. Ronan Boyce has had an amazing first season. Um, and I always say, like, I'm not just going to put people into the team for the sake of it to get a pat on the back. The players have to be good enough. Uh, and I think we do have a lot of really, really good young players coming through as well. But Patience is also key with them as well. And you've also quite clearly looked for character as well. You want to bring the right people in to the dressing room, as is now at the minute. That's been an important factor as well. 
I hold, aye, so it's, it's key. Uh, again, I, I can only relate the sort of my playing days where the best teams I've been a part of have been the best dressing rooms and, and the best characters, people, people with good values and, and, and morals. And um, I, I think in the modern day game in particular, uh, like if you have if you have a bad apple in the dressing room, it can it can ruin it. So um, we won't be bringing any uh, people of 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 poor character to the club. Anyway, that's for sure. Um, just on a personal note, Rory, as we as we come to an end of this, um, I'm sure Lisa and the Wayans were delighted to get you back home again, but maybe they haven't seen too much of you. Is that fair to say? Ah, uh, no, they, they've. Uh They've seen me. They're seeing me more than what they, they did previously. That's for sure. But um, no, it's nice for for family life and um, great the great at times to spend time with the kids and it's nice for them to be able to come to games as well and, and support us and aye. But you can you can just do normal things and and, and it's brilliant. Uh, aye. So so for family life, it's been very very good as well. And Rory, just just finally. We're coming to a stage now where it's Christmas, the supporters have been turning up in numbers to buy season tickets, the short sales are flying, it's really positive vibes about the town. What's your message to Derry City fans ahead of the new season? Um, no, it's great. First and foremost, it's great to see the pictures going around of the queues for season tickets and the jerseys selling really well. That's brilliant and, and it gives, uh, I think there's good optimism around and, and Supporters are crucial to what we're going to do going forward, and, and nothing has changed from uh, when I first w- walked in the door. This is a long-term plan. We have a, we have a three-year plan, and and we want to see it through. And this is a big football club. We should be competing. And um, aye, it's just it's although we want to compete straight away, and hopefully we will. Uh, but um, we just need an element of patience as well. But we, we plan and, and it was the same last season every single game of football that we go into we plan to go and try and win it and one thing that I will guarantee is that um, no matter who the opposition is every single game we, we, we take the pitch they play that we'll, we'll try and win it